I met it straight for the castle They want to make me their queen And there's an old man sitting on a throne there Saying that I probably shouldn't be so mean I'm headed straight for the castle They got the kingdom locked up And there's an old man sitting on a throne there Saying I should probably keep my pretty mouth shut Okay, so everyone, today's the day. We finally are going to overthrow Damien. And, uh, well, I, I don't want to waste any of your time by talking too long. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make this quick. Um, basically, by today, by the end of today, Damien will be gone from Ostia and we'll all be free from his reign and we'll be able to make sure that Nicholas, once he returns, can take over the kingdom with ease. Um, and now that we have the armor and the weapons from the armory in the castle were much more overpowered than, per se, Damien's guards, even though they have about the same, you know, equal as us. Um, yeah, just be careful of your surroundings while you're out there, and let's, uh, let's head out. <laughs> what the? Do you guys hear that too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It sounds like it's coming from the town square. Jeez. We should go check it out. What the? What the hell? Uh, it seems like somebody got here before us. There's... The... Ostia guards? And... Uh, wait, what? There's a new front guard over here. I... Uh, I don't... I don't, don't... Recognize this. Me that... neither, me neither. What? It's definitely... Nothing of Ostia or New Front. I swear that looks kind of familiar, but no, I don't. My life. Well, I say we we should we should go to the castle and make sure that everything is okay up there. Yeah. Or everything yeah, is good for our attack. This was right. unexpected. Very, very. Yeah. Um. All right, let's go then. New Front. Wow. Seems like whoever was here took them out. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't look like they did it very clean either. Yeah. No, this is a Ugh. very big. Yeah. Ugh. This guy's legs are off, and uh, this guy's wow. One of this guy's legs are off too, and this guy looked like well, he snapped his neck off. Look... Damn. <sighs> well, Let, let's just get to the castle. We need to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we need to check no time to, out. No time to dwell happen. over the dead. All right. Come on here. Gotta make sure I don't step it. Dead. No. Yes, same right. here, same here. Let's go. Uh, you stay behind to make sure that everything, uh, ev nothing, nothing happens while we're gone. Yeah. All right, come All right, on. Let's go. Guys in helmets really don't talk that much now, do they? No, not really. No. <sighs> we finally, finally made it. Damien. Ah. Oh. That's Nicholas. I can hear that voice anywhere. Damien, why did you come to Astia? Because I will rule every neighboring land in this kingdom. But why mine first? There are many kingdoms that you could have invaded, but why mine? And why should I tell you? Because if you don't tell me, I will kill you. Really? What makes you think you can actually do that? I have a new ally from the kingdom of Thelion, which I've heard is quite an enemy to New Front. Thelion. We will take them next. Ha! As if. Now leave and never come back. Best of luck. Thanks. You and Logan are friends? I thought he just told you he was on our side and wanted Damien over the throne. Let's just say we've come to more of a mutual understanding. Okay, not judging. Thank you for that, Maya. 
and thank you for defending this kingdom from Damien while I was gone. Well done, Ray and Tom, and Ethan Sutton. I haven't seen you in quite a while. You as well, your highness. Who are they? Yes, that's right. The young man with black hair is Ethan, an old friend. The one next to him is Tom, one of my heads of guards. The young woman is Ray, one of my other heads of guards. And the young man in purple is... Yero? The magician? Uh, sir, we can't explain. It's a bit of a long story. See, Cassandra set me up to... No worries about that. If you trust Yero now, then I'm sure he's changed his ways, correct? That's what I thought. You're welcome to stay in Astia if you would like. Your Highness, may I say it's great to have you back. I have to ask though, was that our guards who took out Damien's army? Ah, you see, Astia has gained a new ally in the time while I was gone. Meet Princess Miley of the Kingdom of Thelion. It was Thelion all along. Why didn't I think of Thelion? It's far enough so Damien wouldn't get suspicious, but close enough to where you'd have enough supplies to return. That's correct. Along with Maya, her troops, and my guards, we managed to come back to Astia by boat and defeat the vast majority of Damien's soldiers. There was a large battle in the town square. We unfortunately lost many of our soldiers today, but their losses will not be in vain. That fight must have happened while we were repairing in the abandoned house with the rebels. Maya, the troops and I decided to head to the castle to defeat Damien ourselves. When we got there, he was unarmed, and so was his son. It was easy to take my throne back over here since he had nothing left to do. However, being the generous leader that I am, I spared his life. I would have rather had that man killed. He's done enough to the poor people of this kingdom. He deserves to be executed. I don't usually like to take a violent approach to things, but I hate Damien as much as the rest of you do. He threatened my father's kingdom multiple times, but never tried to invade you like he did with Astia. That's why I feel so bad for you all. When Damien left, I sent multiple guards to make sure he or his son doesn't do anything out of line. I'm sure it's all fine, your highness. May I say, we've been planning a revolution against Damien ever since you left, and today just happened to be the day where we were going to overthrow him. It was coincidentally the same day you returned. I'm not sure if it's just fate or part of the fact you didn't tell us that you knew New Front would evade in the first place. If we knew beforehand there would be more protection around the docks, we could have more heavily defended the kingdom if our own king told us about this certain attack. I only wanted to protect you from worrying. Wait, that's no excuse. We found your journals in the study. I read how you figured out Cassandra was the spy days before she turned her back on us without warning. That was after you already left for Thelion and Damon had parked his boat on our docks. It was only to protect my kingdom from Damien taking over his king permanently. I needed to leave to save my own life. Let me also mention, you were going to bring me, Tom, Kai, Cassandra along with you on this trip, but how could we have known where you would be if you didn't tell us anything? I'm actually quite surprised Tom didn't mention this before. You wrote that he followed Cassandra to the docks one day a week before the invasion. A week. Afterward, it seems like nothing happened. Kai and I were not informed about this. Oh, and another thing. Ray, you should ease off a bit. No, I won't. He deserves to know what we've been through. A few days back, the bar in the town square was burned down. We lost 52 people that night. 52 people. 52 innocent lives taken by Damien. You can't take that back. Also, that night, Tom and I discovered that Damien was in love with your wife, Annalise, when she was still alive. Did you know that? It was the real reason he invaded Ostia first instead of some other kingdom. He only wanted to get revenge on you for stealing the woman he apparently loved. Oh, don't think I'm lying. I've got all the journals, his and yours, right here. Just for proof, I'll read out something you wrote. Thinking over my plan, it might be a problem if I want to bring my daughter along. She's grown to be an independent and strong woman and would rather defend her kingdom than leave it to an attack. Sound familiar? You don't even know how much I've sacrificed this past month. I was about to say earlier, I was specifically set up by Damien and Cassandra to be kidnapped by Yarrow and taken to the Black Market. The Black Market of all places. No one else, just me. I was trapped in a small room for about two days with barely any food or water and got stuck in this outfit, which is getting more uncomfortable every day. Fortunately, Tom and Ethan were able to get me out before I was killed and we made it back to Ostia. Back to the point. 
There were some people in the black market chasing me around saying that I didn't know how much I was worth. This doesn't make any sense though because I'm only a guard. It's not like I have some special past. I'd know if I did. To add to the story, you figured out you have this secret daughter who Damien is now obsessed with finding. I figured out through a dream, don't question it, that your daughter has been hiding out for years because you sent her away. You mentioned in the journals that you entrust her with Ethan, but you nor Ethan have mentioned anything about this girl. I'm the only one who has brought it up, and every time I do, I always get shut down. If you're so worried about your daughter, where is she now? Why didn't you bring her with you to Thelion for protection? It's complicated. Ethan has no part in this. Your problem is with your head guards. As you can see, there's only two of us now. Kai ran off because he got threatened by Damien, and Cassandra was murdered. Murdered. She's dead. I apologize for leaving on such short notice, but it was only to protect the kingdom, as I have said. If I had stayed and Damien killed me, the kingdom would have legally been his. <laughs> I can't believe it! Did you listen to anything I said? Listen, Ray, right? I understand you're all upset at my fiancé, but he's trying his best. That's what I said about Kai and look where he is now. Gone. Did you just say fiancé? In order for Thelion to assist Astia in battle against Damien, Maya's father told me that I need to have his eldest daughter's hand in marriage. I accepted this offer. Maya is a lovely girl and I was desperate for help. Marriage? Couldn't there have been other options to gain an ally besides getting married? We're not married yet. Maya is only my fiancé. We still need to plan our wedding first. Well, if you don't mind, I'm going off to end finding the kitchen. I make the best cookies in kingdoms. You don't want to miss out. Now that I'm back, I expect everything to return to normal. I also expect you to be polite to Maya. If anyone makes a wrong move, we could be in trouble. Euro, uh, you should probably leave. <sighs> Nicholas isn't acting like himself. I know he's been emotional since Annalise died, but it seems like it's worse now. Marriage for an ally? It's especially strange for him. <sighs> Let's wait it up. I'm not satisfied with his answers. I need to know what he's hiding. And I get you two have secrets, but if you're hiding anything about me, just tell me before your lie goes too far. I'm going up to my room to change into my uniform. It's nice to be living in the castle again with Nicholas as king, but not quite in this circumstance. I'll see you guys in the morning.